new on this platform my name is Anita and today I am going to show you how I achieve this makeup look uh, this makeup look has been created especially for Valentine's Day I think when I think Valentine's Day I really think like something really soft something really girly and something really youthful and that's the kind of look I was trying to create I think the makeup look which is quite soft but also well put together goes really well with the messy hair which I really really like so if you want to know how I created this makeup look and um, how I did my hair etc just continue watching my videos so first things first I just washed my face I did my daily um, washing face routine you might call and uh, I do have a video on this so if you're interested this video is going to be linked down below and now I am going to moisturize my face prior to application of my makeup so to moisturize my face today I am going to be using my cashmere illuminator and this is like illuminating um, face cream basically this is by a polish brand I think it's called Dax cosmetic it's really good and this cream is going to give you that glow quite sure if you can see it on the camera but I can see it in the mirror here that immediately I am glowing we want this makeup to last all day because you know Valentine's Day sometimes you know it's in the middle of the week so you might be stuck in work etc and you want to go to your dinner with your loved one and uh, straight after work so you want your makeup to last all day to make sure that my makeup is going to last all day I'm going to be using my favorite primer and this is by benefit and this is poor professional professional excuse me and I'm just going to apply the tiniest amount when it comes to primer you really do not need a lot this is literally what I'm gonna be using and I do not like to apply uh, my primer all over my face I intend to apply it very gently in the areas that I would like um, intend to lose my makeup um, the fastest the soonest the quickest so it's going to be in around my cheeks I'm also going to use it in around my eyes as well because that's where I'm going to put my concealer on top of my nose, bringing it higher, uh, my chin. This is just going to kind of smooth the surface and make sure that your foundation uh, is going to last all day. For foundation, I'm going to be using a mix of my current two favorite foundation. The first one is Chanel Vita Lumiere and this is in the shade Camille, number 20. This is my ultimate favorite foundation. Again, if you have seen any of my previous video, you would know this. Um, the reason why this is my favorite foundation is because it gives you this kind of dewy look and also most importantly this is the only shade ever that actually like matches my skin tone. I'm very much of a yellow person and I have this struggle with yellow which I talked about a million times. But anyways, um, Chanel Vita Lumiere, I'm just going to use a tiny little bit and I'm going to mix this foundation with my newest foundation which is by Giorgio Armani and this is Luminous Sink Silk, not Sink. Luminous Silk Foundation and this one is in the shade 3.5 which isn't ideal for my skin shade it is quite pinkish uh, unfortunately I went back in and I was trying to exchange it for more yellow foundation but they do not have any therefore uh, mixing both of these will probably give me the ideal shade I need or I require let's just hope it's yellow basically I don't know, I have this thing that I always apply my foundation starting from my jawline. I don't know, preference, you know. And I'm just gonna go uh, and apply it with a brush. The brush that I'm using is by Zoeva. And I guess it's a foundation brush. And if it isn't, I always use it it's my foundation brush. It's quite difficult to talk while you actually smudge in your foundation on your face. A uh, very important thing when you apply your foundation is, especially when you wear fake tan and especially if your foundation is slightly bit darker than your face, like I never tan my face, therefore my face will always be a little bit lighter than the rest of my body. So I want to make sure that I apply this foundation, uh, bring it down to my neck and then depending on what kind of top and I'm, am I going to be wearing, I bring it as low as I require. Make sure you always bring your foundation to your neck because otherwise you will look like you're wearing a mask and trust me that's not a good look and it doesn't matter if you go into a Valentine's Day dinner or a walk in a park. Never ever it's a good look. It's not a good look. As you can see like it gives me the coverage but it's not 
overpowering if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to be moving on to concealer. As a concealer I use two products. The first product I'm going to be using is by NYX and this is HD Concealer. This concealer is in the shade yellow which is perfect for me and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit kind of directly under my eyes and I'm going to be using my beauty blender to blend. Oh that bracelet makes a lot of noise. I'm not ideal when you film in a video. Now as you can see it already gave me this kind of brightness underneath my eyes but to make sure that I'm like all bright and nice uh, and looking fresh most importantly I am going to be using another favorite concealer of mine. This concealer is by Stree Vectin. I think this is an American brand and um, you can definitely buy it in the States. I actually got mine in TK Maxx um, over the summer and I absolutely love it. It's not very much of a concealer, it's more so like a kind of brightening product and that's what I'm using it for. So I'm going to be applying underneath my eyes and I'm creating the kind of triangle to brighten up all this area underneath my eye. Don't be scared, this is not like a lot of product. It does not have a lot of coverage. It's more so to kind of brighten up the area rather than cover it. And as you can see, I've applied a little bit on my nose and on my chin as well. Again, these are the areas that I would like to brighten up a little bit. Going back to my beauty blender, just gonna blend. Seriously, I have to put this bracelet on my other hand because it's just too annoying. Nah, it's better. I'm just blending on the area. Now when that's done, I'm gonna go to my loose powder and I'm gonna set my face with loose powder. The uh, loose powder I'm gonna be using today is uh, Chanel and this is Universal Powder. It's a loose powder and the brush that I'm using is by Zoeva and it's 106 powder brush. And I'm just gonna gently apply on my face. As you can see, like I'm not really like pushing it in. I'm just dusting my face. Now when my face is set, I'm going to be applying bronzer. The bronzer that I'm applying is my favorite bronzer and it is by MAC Give Me Sun. The brush that I'm using, I tend to like this brush for bronzer, I don't know why. This is actually a powder brush and it's number 40 by Sephora. It's such a old brush. Uh, but I like to apply my bronzer with this brush, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just very gently going to be applying it in around my cheeks. I'm not contouring right now because this bronzer has a kind of warm shade. I'm bronzing my face. I'm just applying it to the usual areas you would apply your bronzer, the areas where the sun would hit you naturally. I'm also trying to match my neck. I don't want to go crazy with it. I don't want to do the crazy contouring or anything like that. I just want to look girly and nice, young and fresh. Good luck to me. And to achieve this kind of youthful look and um, romantic look, I would say, um, we need some highlighter. And for my highlighter today, I am going to be using my Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm pretty much going to be using all four shades that are in the palette. These are the shades. If you're interested in this product, I have been talking about it in my recent video, which is, I think it's called uh, What I Bought in Miami. So I'll link that video down below for you as well if you want to check it out. But basically, I'm going to be using two shades first. I'm using Bubbly and Dripping in Gold, which are these two. And I'm going to be applying them to my cheekbones. I'm using Fan Brush. This is, I think it's by MAC, but I'm not sure. It's a very, very old brush. I'm also going to apply a little bit of those two shades uh, to the top of my nose. Now I'm going to be going to Sunburst, which is the goldy shade, and very gently again at the very top of my cheekbones and I'm going to place that product. I'm also going to go over the nose bit. And then the last shade, which is Golden Bronze, it's a kind of like illuminating bronzer. I'm just going to go through uh, where I bronze my face very gently again, just to kind of highlight it, I guess. Now when my face is done, um, well the base of my face is done, I'm going to be moving into my eyebrows. I do have a video on how I do my eyebrows which I'm going to link down below if you're interested to see it. Um, and I'll catch you guys when my eyebrows are done. Now I have my eyebrows on and I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer because I am going to start working on my eyes. Oh, so let's hope this is close enough, but not too close. To apply my eyeshadow, I'm going to be working with my Lorac Pro palette entirely. I'm just going to be using eyeshadows from this palette. And yeah, let's, let's do it. Which brush will I use? Okay, for my transition eyeshadow, which I'm going to be applying first uh, slightly above my crease, I am going to be using the eyeshadow called Mueve. I, I don't 
think this is how you pronounce it, but that's the way I say it. So anyways, it is this one right here. It's kind of like a pinkish, warm eyeshadow. This mirror is absolutely devastating. So we'll go for a different mirror. Okay, now we're talking. Can I see myself? Yes. Can you see myself? Yes. Right, so I'm just going to be applying slightly above my crease. Very gently. It's better to like put a little bit of product on at the time and if you feel that you need more you're just gonna dab your brush back in and add more rather than actually overpowering your eyelid with the eyeshadow as you can probably see my eyelashes are kind of falling apart at this stage i'm gonna get them refilled next week so a little bit now I'm going to go for a larger eyeshadow brush. This is a brush by Peggy Sage that I bought in Belgium, I think. It's one of my favorite blending brushes. It's quite dense and quite big. And this brush is going to help me to blend the eyeshadow very well. So, you know, the usual. The, the brush is clean. I did not put any eyeshadow on it. And now looking at this, I think I want a little bit of definition in between my crease and my eyelid. So I'm going to be using my... Zoeva crease brush and this is number 231 and I'm gonna go to another eyeshadow from the Lorac palette I'm gonna be using Let me see Taupe. I'm gonna go right into my crease and I'm gonna bring this eyeshadow down Into my crease in the kind of angled way Well, you guys don't have to do that. I mean I have hooded eyes so I'm trying to optically make them look a little bit bigger so that's what I'm trying to do here and I'm going back to my large blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this all together and as you can see I'm going back and forth into my eyeshadow and into my blending brush and my application brush because I'm trying to decide of the intensity of the eyeshadow that I want to achieve therefore again it's better to use less product at once and then add more product if you want more now I'm pretty happy with the intensity of this eyeshadow so I'm gonna be moving into placing an eyeshadow onto my lid and again I want this look to be kind of soft romantic very subtle I am going to be using the color cord called Champagne again from my Lorac palette and um, it is a, a sparkly eyeshadow because mm, why not uh, I'm gonna go to my one of my favorite brushes in terms of application of eyeshadow on the lid and this brush is so old that like actual numbers are completely gone but I think this brush is by MAC yeah it probably is and um, so yeah I'm just gonna apply champagne onto my lid now when this is applied I'm going back to my a large blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it around the crease to blend those two eyeshadows together sometimes when you do that you might decide that you want a little bit more definition in between the lid and the crease and that's kind of what I want so I'm gonna go back to my darker shadows that I was using and my Zoeva um, crease brush and I'm just gonna add slightly a little bit okay I want to create the kind of 3d look I want to have a little bit more definition within my eye so now I'm gonna be going into my um, into the shade called nude again from the Lorac Flow palette I'm gonna be using my flat brush and I'm going to place this eyeshadow right in the inner corner of my eye. You can right away see that my eye looks much brighter and kind of bigger and also I'm going to do one more thing, one more step uh, when it comes to eyeshadow. I want my eyelids to very much glow so I'm going to use the color called Little Bronze and I'm just going to literally dab my brush in it and I'm going to place it right in the middle of my lid. And that's basically it. Now, when it comes to lower lashes, um, this is kind of an optional step because I know that some of you might not feel entirely comfortable in placing an eyeshadow on your lower lashes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, I'm going to use my crease brush again. It's kind of like a pointy brush, which makes it really easy to apply the eyeshadow on lower lashes. And again, I'm going to be using the mixture of two colors that I've used previously, which is called uh, the shadows are called taupe and my move my move. <laughs> How do you pronounce this? So these two eyeshadows will be placed on my lower lashes. I'm gonna, my lower lash line. I'm gonna start from kind of like half uh, the eye. The first eyeshadow that I'm gonna apply is the lighter shade, is the pinkish shade, and it's called Mewe. Mew. I really don't know how you pronounce this. I really, really don't know. Sorry. So again, very gentle, very little product, very slowly. 
and then I'm using top taupe and this is just kind of towards the outer corner now with this kind of look I'm taking like really big nice eyelashes which are going to open up your eye so uh, prior to application of my mascara I'm not going to be applying mascara on my top lashes because I'm wearing eyelashes extensions but on my lower lashes I am going to use uh, the eyelash conditioner that I always use prior to application of my mascara and this is by the brand called Evelyn and it is 8 in 1 total action conditioner it is really really good uh, whenever I'm not using uh, fake eyelashes or uh, extension lashes I always apply applied this on my lower and upper lashes and it really helps them grow and they look more voluminous and big so that's what I'm going to do. I forgot to mention is my favorite mascara ever and it is by uh, 17 which is the brand that you can find in boots and this is HD falsify eye or falsify uh, HD mascara now because as I mentioned I am wearing uh, eyelashes extensions I am just going to brush them you know now I think the eye is finished I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my second eye and I'll be back with you and we're gonna do the lips and finish off the look now as you can see I have both of my eyes done so the last two steps that we have left are uh, the blusher and the lips so I'm gonna apply my blusher first the blusher that I'm using is by Chanel and it is La Blush Cream de Chanel in number C501 oh no 64 inspiration yeah I'm just gonna use my finger this is like a cream brush that Emerson broke completely well he was just playing with it Emerson is my three years old song for those of you who don't know I'm just gonna place it gently where I think I should I'm also gonna use the brush just to make sure it's kind of like nicely blended and sits well and it looks natural yeah I think that looks good so let's do the lips now for my lips today I am going to be using a mix of three products firstly I am going to be using my favorite go-to uh, lip liner and this is by MAC it's called Bold Lip Bear and um, I absolutely love it wear it pretty much on a daily basis so I'm just gonna line my lips with this eyeliner so it appears it needs to be sharpened oh actually a top tip of the day is if you do happen to have a couple of um, MAC lip liners, I would strongly recommend to you to buy MAC um, pencil shaper because I've been struggling with shaping these, sharpening these for absolute ever and once I actually was so desperate that I was sharpening it with um, a different sharpener that I had and pretty much half of the lip liner was gone because it just wasn't working I was so frustrated I actually went to Mac store and I said look I'm sure there's something wrong with this lip liner and what she did she took Mac sharpener and she sharpened it in two seconds in front of me and I was like girl I need to have this it's six euros well it's just kind of like a bit of a money for a sharpener but trust me it is the best sharpener I have ever used and it's going to be the best sharpener you've ever used guaranteed Anyways, let's line those lips. Now, I'm not going to fill them in with the MAC pencil. I am going to go to my NYX Soft Matte uh, Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade called Stockholm. Um, I really like these. They don't really stay forever. And you do have to reapply a couple of times throughout the day. But I think uh, they're matte, which you might know that I only do matte lipsticks. I don't like gloss lipstick. It looks kind of glossy, but trust me, it dries matte. But I'm kind of thinking, like, when, when I look at myself, I kind of feel like, I think I would prefer something more pinkish. So I'm thinking that I might add another color, and it's also by NYX, and it's also soft matte lip cream. And this one is in the shade Antwerp. It's more kind of a pinkish color. So I think I'm just gonna mix these two together and see what comes out. Yeah, I think I'm liking this combo. Mm -hmm. Now, so this is the makeup finish. I hope you like it. But you know, um, no Valentine's Day look would be completed without doing your hair. So I'm the kind of girl that doesn't like to spend a lot of time doing my hair. And I got my hair braided yesterday and I slept with it. And I think that I'm thinking, I like the kind of like a messy look. I'm the kind of person who likes the messy look. So I'm thinking of two options for my hair. I can either, um, 
work something with what I have at the moment or I can just maybe do something different but anyways I'm gonna try to loosen up my braids a little bit and make them a little bit more messy and I'm gonna try to pin them I do not have a video on how to do those braids and I'm not the best person to do them especially to myself I, I can't do it uh, but Carly Bibble recently um, filmed a video on how to do these two exactly so I'm going to link that video down below so you can do it yourself but anyways I'm just gonna try to like loose them up a little bit and try to kind of like get a little bit of the volume of my hair and make them a little bit more messy if you know what I mean yeah let's mess it up girlfriend let get bits of hair up my front I don't know it's not everybody's cup of tea I just like the kind of messy messy kind of look you know to mess the braids you just basically pull them like this okay I'm gonna try to roll the braid up I'm gonna put the tail inside and I'm gonna use pins to pin it at the back I'm gonna try to put the pins from inside so they're not that visible if you know what I mean okay now I'm gonna you see this literally is two pins I'm gonna use maybe another one just to make sure that it doesn't fall apart apart throughout the day and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side so guys this is the completed look I hope you like it I hope you will have an amazing Valentine's Day I enjoy whatever you get up to and yes uh, thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to follow me especially on snapchat because I generally became so active on snapchat recently I'm, I think I'm slightly addicted to it so my snapchat username is style snatcher so go and follow me there and uh, I will definitely see you in my next video bye